Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on my roses. And we're also going to take a look at some of the beautiful flowers that are blooming here, like this gorgeous hydrangea. I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so we are going to start right here on this side because this side looks like it has a lot of blooms. And I'm going to start right here with Ancient Mariner. It's starting to look like it's going to bloom this week. It has all sorts of blooms right here, buds that are going to be coming very soon. And then I'm going to go ahead and jump right into Princess Alexander of Kent. It's still blooming beautifully. Look at this. Just gorgeous. And then I'm going to turn my attention next to Princess Alexandra of Kent and we're going to take a look at Queen of Sweden. Look at this. Beautiful. And this has been blooming for several weeks now, maybe two, three weeks. Still plenty to look at. Look at this. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. This is Queen of Sweden. And then I noticed that next to Queen of Sweden, the pilgrim has started to bloom. Look at this. Just gorgeous. So we're going to make our way over to this side over here and take a look at some of the other David Austin roses that are blooming. This one right here is Sceptered Isle. Sceptered Isle is starting to bloom again. Actually, it hasn't stopped blooming. It has been blooming nonstop. This is Sceptered Isle. Now we had some warm weather today and I think some of the roses kind of got scorched a little bit. But they don't look too shabby. They still look beautiful. This is Sceptered Isle. It's got a lot of blooms. And then I have Jude the Obscure. I have to show you Jude the Obscure. It's got several blooms. This one is still closed because it's now cooler. They have a little bit more body to them, so, to them when the weather is nice. So this is Jude the Obscure. And then next to Jude the Obscure is Boscobel. Beautiful. I love Boscobel. It's got this gorgeous, gorgeous color. So vibrant and so nice. And it smells nice. It's got the beautiful form. Here's some more Boscobel. Lots of flowers from Boscobel. And then Carding Mill is starting to bloom again. I thought the Carding Mill was slowing down. But here we go. It's got all sorts of beautiful blooms on it. Look at this. And I'm going to go over ahead and jump right in here because I want to show you Munstead Wood. Still blooming. Look at this. Such a gorgeous color. Beautiful color. Kind of a dark rose here. So beautiful. So striking. And then I noticed that I have a lot of golden celebration. Look at all these bloom right here. So we're going to take a look at this. Golden celebration. Lots of blooms and golden celebration. So pretty. So beautiful. Look at this. There's some more right here. And you can see the back of Queen of Sweden right here. And then next to Golden Celebration, we have Darcy Bustle right here, right next to Golden Celebration. So pretty, so pretty. I'm really having a great time looking at all these roses for the summer bloom because they're just as good as the uh, spring bloom. This is Lichfield Angel. Beautiful white David Austin rose. Gorgeous. Look at this. 
just gorgeous and then we're gonna look at Charlotte Charlotte has several blooms looking good and then there's all these buds that will be blooming in a few days here so we're gonna expect a lot more blooms from Charlotte look at these buds right here so we are expecting more and then I showed you Darcy Bustle already this right here is Olivia Rose look at this look at all these beautiful blooms so gorgeous and then I noticed that candy cane which is the week's rose has a lot of blooms on it look at these and then my bouquet parfait which is a, a week's rose looks like it's starting to bloom again so pretty so beautiful and then sunburst oh sun sprite I'm sorry is also producing a lot of blooms look at this so I'm looking back on my garden right here my rose garden and now we're gonna switch it up a little bit here and I'm gonna show you my limelight hydrangea I have six and I have them in a pot a huge pot right here and they are blooming as you could see I started here in my introduction this is its third year I believe it's so gorgeous so I can uh, I'm gonna put a link in the information below to where I brought uh, I bought this I bought it through proven winners it is so beautiful I probably I might end up transferring these into the ground even though the pots huge this is the pots I have on them huge pots they they do get pretty big it looks like this is like see I'm 5'2 this is almost like six feet so we're gonna move this direction I want to show you guys this rose right here this is that rose that I did not take good care of. <laughs> and it's giving me all sorts of it's covered in flowers it's probably covered more than in the springtime that's unbelievable look at this look at all the flowers on this so now I'm, I'm watering it regularly I didn't used to take care of it and the more I take care of it the more blooms it gives me oh and I noticed over here this is Violet's pride right here and she's starting to bloom too look at that and all these buds oh this is gonna be really exciting to see it bloom for the second time but what I wanted to show you guys is this um, clematis look how beautiful this clematis is gorgeous dark purple clematis so beautiful so beautiful so we're gonna move over to the other side to look at the limelight hydrangea I have four more over here all in pots and I have some clematis on this side too <laughs> so pretty it the, you know summer is so such a great time of the year because spring and summer are my favorite because the flowers just look so beautiful look at all this this is my limelight hydrangea so beautiful unreal isn't it I'm gonna go to the other end so you can see my other limelight hydrangea over here they are just so gorgeous these are um, so the other one that I showed you are older these are younger about a year younger than the ones that I showed you but they did bloom for me on their first year so beautiful look at this so many flowers so many flowers here just impressive impressive 
So we're going to walk back here because I'm going to show you a, a couple more roses that I have uh, in the pot. I'm going to try to get up to the, uh, the deck so I can show it to you. I have a couple of potted roses that I have not featured. So I wanted to show it to you because it's blooming beautifully. Once again, I wanted to show you my limelight hydrangea. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. Look at this. Stunning. Just stunning. So I'm up on my patio right now and I'm looking at two of my potted roses here. And this first one, and they're both Weeks roses. The first one is called Make Me Blush. So gorgeous. I noticed it from the window, my window, that they are blooming. And I said, you know, I need to show you guys this gorgeous rose. So this one is called Make Me Blush. So beautiful. There's another one right here. And I see one that's hiding back here. So gorgeous, isn't it? Just gorgeous. And then the next rose is another week's rose. And this one is called Pop Art. So what's amazing about this is you could see this marbled look or coloring right here. So this one is called Pop Art, another week's rose. So beautiful. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing to me. These are just gorgeous. They, they look almost like David Austin Rose, but they're not. They're Weeks Rose. So this is pop art. So beautiful. I think this one has the most color. Gorgeous. Well, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.